In today's video, we're going to be checking out a five plot French chateau worth over $8 million. These plots are used for a roleplay called the Bloxburg French Kingdom, which you can find the links for in the description down below. They have a Discord server and their roleplay is pretty fun. This is Paris and they're going to be taking us through the tour. Uh, some like regular standard uh, stone marble room and the wallpaper used I think you could find at the Chateau de Versailles okay so like is is that true throughout the entire build like most of these like decals up on, here on the first floor I'd say the decals come from a lot of different chateaus around France and around the world in general dang look at the walls in this room they got like actual decals to make it look like it's like depth to it if that makes sense uh this is uh, what we call the rococo room is mostly because of all the paintings in here are all from like the rococo period wait the rococo period what is that that's like is this part of french history we're learning now and uh, what it's known for is like a bunch of bright colors and um over the top decorating uh right here this is our main uh hall this is our uh, not hall but this is um our grand foyer this is where you would first enter if you came into the french court uh the main courtyard okay so this is like the place where the royal people enter yeah, this is uh, the Eau Claire Courtyard. Hold on, let's go through these gates real quick. I want to see what it looks like outside. Dang, look at the detail on the walls out here. All the pillars and stuff. I like these. I like the um the top of the pillars with the little noobs up there. That's cool detail. I know, yeah. I try to use uh, noobs a lot. <laughs> this entrance is so grand. How did you do... Oh, that's a basic shape up there. I see the little arch yeah, up here. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff like in this Kensal Court chart are kind of toned down because um, the plot data, of course, is like reached to its max. I imagine looking around the plot. But um, little his little like little fun fact: um, this very front uh, part of the building right here this is a very like original, first standing original part of like the project. And I started the project around almost two years ago. This is this all? No, these are real stairs. How did you do that? Is this a? Is this basic uh, shapes? I for the stairs? Yeah, I know it's actually in-game stairs. I use a lot of in-game stuff because of plot data, so oh, I try to use it. I didn't I try even know to, we like, had stairs like these. Yeah, I try to blend them in on like as best as I could. All right, so let me take you through the, this is our entrance to the royal apartment. So um, is this like the, ma the master bedroom pretty much of, of like a house? Yeah, yeah, so this is the guards room. This is um where we'd hold, what's where the guards would sleep to guard the entrance to the royal apartment. Uh -huh. Yo, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Look at the window, bro. This is actually tough. Okay, well, that's a different plot, though, isn't it? So we'll save that for after, but that's actually yeah, tough. Yeah, that's the, that's the Royal Gardens. And right here's our small poker room. It's poker room, okay. Yeah, right here's another, like, another waiting room, I'd say. So higher up officials, like, um, high standing, like, nobility ranks, they'd be able to enter this room. But uh, let's say if you were a comp or a baron, you couldn't go past this room. So Dang, there's a lot of waiting rooms. It's, these people yeah, must be really important. Uh, this is our master bedroom. This is the main, um, uh, the main Dang, bedroom. Room. This is detailed. I like what you did with the, uh, I forgot what it's called. The, 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 this, this thing that hangs over the bed, a little hangover. Oh, uh, a canopy? Yeah, the canopy. That's tough. You never really see yeah. those on Bloxburg. I know. And the pillows. I also, when I build, I never add extra pillows to the bed. So my beds usually look pretty dull, but when people do them, it makes it look much better. Oh, and like uh, all our furniture is like usable because we also use this for like role playing all of that. So you could like oh, sleep dang, in the bed. Oh, that's nice. Oh. I want to look at the windows. The windows are my favorite part. I love being able to see like the rest of the build from like a different vantage oh, point. Oh, and uh, a little, a little fun fact: uh, these windows are uh, completely original. They were made in Bloxburg just for this building. So nice, nice. Oh, and over here uh, is our only bathroom. This is the only. There's one bathroom in the entire plot. Is that like a thing that they did in France? Is is that like yeah? Because uh, in our century, we didn't have toilets or plumbing or any of that. So oh you, right, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so you, so you can find like a tub in here and there, but uh, this is like technically considered the only bathroom. So here, me and the king would wait with um, the dauphin of France, the uh, heir or like the crown prince, and then we enter through this door and. We have a bunch of our nobles sitting here, and they just watch us eat. They would watch you eat. Would they eat too, yeah. or they just sit here and look at you? Yeah, they only sit here, but only high-ranking nobles could sit in these stools. That's while so awkward. 
Yeah, they have. It is. It's it's very awkward, but um, I'm surprised they actually do it. So it's like, it's very fun. Every time I do these tours, I keep finding things that are in Bloxburg that I just didn't know were in the game. This table here, I've never seen it before. But with all the food <laughs> That's on part it. Of the, uh, part of the update, the Victor or whatever it's called, the Victorian, Victorian update. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a view of the East Wing. I mean, the West Wing. Whoa, this is nice. I love being able to see like into the other building from here. Um, we that 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 guy in the white down there. What's his job? He is, oh, he's my brother in real place. So I come from a Spanish descendants and I married into the family and he came with me. So. Right. So after you exit the royal apartment from the grand convert room, you'd come into the throne room and this would be like the exit to it kind of because here a bunch of nobles would Dang. stand Dang, yo, 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 hold on. This is tough. <laughs> hold on. How'd you do the ceiling? What floor even is this? Is this like the fifth floor? Is this, how uh, tall is this? In, Box in Boxburg floors, this is technically considered the second floor. I mean the third floor, the third, 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 the third. Floor. It feels so tall. But, I feel like I'm like way up in the sky right now, but really only third floor. That's crazy. Mhm. Mm and then uh, right here's our thrones, and um, right here at um, after at the end of the role play, we'd come here and I'd give like an itinerary for what's to happen during the week, and and we'd close a role play here, and I'd like go to my other state, and like um, yeah, like this way I conclude like the end of role play, like being in this Grand Central Hall. That's tough. Mm -hmm. So this this is all for one person, the Delphine. Yeah. And what's, yeah, what's uh, their job? Like, what do they do? Delphine is um, the Prince of France, so um, he's um, like the heir to France. So, in role play, if the king were to pass away, he'd be king. So. Right. So like, like vice president, be, kind of. Yeah, like he'd become the king. This is nice. I like how you guys um like split the plots in half. Is this carpets? How do you even do this? Uh yes, uh like the, the long skinny carpet runways. You can connect I don't the know, plots. They're in game. Let me, yo, this is actually nice. I like the, um, what are these, like, just details? What, what's the, what's the brown? Is this grass, just different color grass? What is it? Like, what is it supposed to uh, resemble? It's, it's supposed to set, uh, resemble, like, pebbles or, like, crushed up sand, kind of. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about in those gardens and yeah. stuff. The fountain as well, this is nice. I'm gonna swim in the water here. I imagine in real life, wait, would there be, um, uh, I guess they didn't have pennies back then. Plus, it's France, they don't have pennies in France. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my personal favorite view, um, is always from back here facing this side of the uh, chateau. I don't know why. I this guess like nice. it's kind of like a more, it's more basic the, like the facade. But I kind of yeah. like how all the windows line up and you could see inside and all of that. I like the the little like rose garden over here, flower garden. Yo, this is nice. I like the um little dome roof over here. You can go fishing and on this spot here if you wanted to. It's, it's just literally just randomly just there for any use. The walls are so high here. Also, I love how the guard is following me around like he's like my personal guard or something. So far, we checked out the east side and then we also checked out the garden over here. And now we need to go check out the west side on this side of the plot. Right, so this is the entrance to the west wing. Um, this uh, this wing, a bunch of our nobles would be housed here and a bunch of common rooms and grand salons. So this I, wing is like more public, I guess you could say. I like what you did with the walls and the pillars. The pillars make like walls look very, very detailed. Without having oh, yeah, to actually I, place anything, it's like literally just pillars. Yeah, I, I, I try to use a lot of pillars because they add a lot of detail in gain, and like I said, I kind of run on very low on plot data. Right. So, uh, before we go upstairs, we can head into, uh, this is where the nobility would eat. The staircase kind of looks like uh, the thing from the Titanic, the grand staircase from the Titanic. Oh yeah, so this is where like the nobility would eat. Um, in the mornings, they'd eat here before they head to the West Wing. Dang, this is I mean, a long eat. table. Yeah, before they head to the uh, east wing, they'd eat here. This is the high-ranking official table. Wait, and one more time, the nobles do what? What's their job? Uh, the nobles' job is basically just to serve the royal family and... Um, like the staff, almost. Kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like staff, but like a more respected staff. As they hold, like, status, they hold land, and they hold ranks. Right. And no. if you're, like, oh, yeah. if you're a high-standing duke, and, like, uh, I'll give you, like, a duchy we have is Andrew. So if like you're a duke and Andrew and you have a bunch of members, like your duchy could uh, it could uh, influence like the server a lot. So like if your duchy is like wanting this thing to happen a lot, they could get he the duke could get his people to complain and to ask the royal family and it get passed eventually. This staircase is actually so tough. It's so like feels so grand and I like the white like the white marble that you used across all of it. And did you uh, did you look up? Yo, there's a skylight up here. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna go up and free cam. This is actually tough. I like, is this, um, oh, there's a, that's a material you use there. That's nice. It looks realistic. And then, uh, over here is the Egypt room. Uh, the I Egypt just the room. Egypt. 
Oh yeah, it does kind of remind me of like walking into like a big tomb with all the big pillars and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's literally why I just called it this. Uh, over here, this leads to the grand apartments. Wow, a lot of red in here. Yeah. What is the face uh, up there? <laughs> oh, I don't know. A lot of our paintings, uh, our nobles sometimes get uh, handed uh, co-owners, so they like to mess around with the paintings. Right. Uh, so um, these seven salons, uh, which only like I think like four of them are actually finished. Uh, these seven salons are named after the seven goddesses. So this one is the Salon de Artemis. Uh, the goddess mm -hmm. of the hunt, I think, I believe. So around this room, you could find a bunch of little animals, like these horses. Yo, there's a Roblox head on the decal up there. Y'all made these? Yeah. Uh, and then over here is a Salon de Hera. I think, if I remember correctly... Geez, Wait, so what are salons? Like, what are these rooms for? So in French, I guess, kind of definition, I guess. So I'm not really... Well, don't come after don't come after me this is wrong but what i've learned is salons are kind of like drawing rooms or like waiting rooms but like the french term for it i'm right. assuming they do a lot of waiting in these buildings <laughs> yeah so like, i don't know if you've ever been to like a english palace but like you have like the red drawing room or like the pink drawing room or like the green waiting room mm -hmm. so like, that's kind of like what salons are this so, like, is creative i like what you did with the seashell little holder here right. there's like a salt uh, shaker up there and then the rest is just a basic shapes yeah this is the salon de pers uh, persona so this is um i think she was something to have to do with the sea i don't know <laughs> i just got chosen to, to draw this balcony to make... i don't think i've seen a balcony anywhere else other than the place over there uh, this is the um balcony this is the royal tea room so this, this is, is where nice the... i feel so this important is... up here like you wave down to all your citizens and stuff uh but um right here uh you just get a view of our french um, our royal chapel right here we have mass and all of that dang that's actually nice so y'all do like masses in the like role play uh we're trying to because right now um a bunch of our mass or a bunch of our church people that run the church are all australian so they're whenever we're on they're like barely heading to sleep right all right so we toured the chateaus and the garden this is the nobility plot so this is where all of the like what i call the staff of the king and queen they like do their work and live here i guess uh, there's really not much to see in this plot because uh, most of the nobility is still purchasing apartments. But um, upstairs, we do have a viewing for a private apartment. So um, those were the standard apartments. And up here, we have our more private apartments. So you need to have, um, Man, you, need to pay, nice. you need to pay a separate fee to um, be able to purchase these. So only some nobles live in these houses. You have to pay yeah. for them. I see. Yeah. I like the windows. These are really creative. They're like little small windows. Let me go on the outside yeah. of this. Uh, they're, they're called dormers. Dormers is what they're called? That's cool. Yeah, dormers. And this is the regular standard uh, one bedroom. This is a apartment. nice bed. Holy, I like the backboard that you used for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you get views of the central courtyard that we have here. Yo, that's actually a tough view from up here in the window. And then, um, I don't know if you, if you saw the uh, king's brother, aka the prince. Uh, he would... Um, He'd live here in this residence, but it's currently still being furnished and finished. I like the bikes here. These arches, I really love the arches that you've put throughout the build because you don't really see that on Bloxburg too often. So seeing the basic shapes that you use for that, like in action, looks very nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we always get questions like, how are, how do you make your roof? But it's basically just the curved Bloxburg um, blocks just turned upside down. Right. Transform tool you probably use for a lot yeah. of it. Yeah, right here is just a re uh, the, mo the main residence, but the rest of the chateau is just um, apartments that look all the same. This is beautiful, holy! Especially with the sun shining down in this little courtyard, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Like uh, this, I think someone had just purchased this apartment, so if you want, uh, they have barely began just um, running, picking the furniture and all of that. So. And it leads out to the entrance. So. I like this thing. It kind of reminds me of like either like a Chinese or like ancient Japanese like culture. The big um like gate. It kind of looks like that. Oh I know. I, I kind of I kind of got that after like I finished it. I didn't even know I I, I wasn't even going for that. I just got rid of the pillar because it was blocking the gateway. But after uh -huh. I saw it, I, after I keep on looking, it kind of does look like that. This texture is my favorite texture on Bloxburg. I was so happy when they added this. I use it for like all my commercial builds on the floor. I just color it gray. It looks like the floor of like a Costco or something like that. I love that texture. <laughs> so that was all five plots and a little bit about the role play, which of course you can join with the links in the description down below. But that's gonna be it for today's video. So I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.